The Westminster's magistrate court denied the bail for a third time to Diamonte Nirav Modi, who was arrested on March 19th. Nirav Modi will remain in jail at least till the 30th of May now, when he will be appearing before the court physically to argue his case again. Nirav Modi, who appeared in a white shirt, clean shaven, offered the court £2 million as bail bond and live in under 24 hours curfew. But the court was not convinced to let him out on bail. The 48-year-old Nirav Modi was arrested on an extradition warrant in London. He is accused of defrauding Punjab National Bank via the issuance of fraudulent letters of undertaking through three of his companies and then laundering the proceeds of the crime. My colleague Lavina Tandon is now joining me from London for further inputs on the story. Lavina, tell us what happened at the courtroom. It was absolutely a nail-biting case all the way through. It started post-lunch and it went on till the end of the court day at uh, 5 o'clock when the judge took half an hour break to consider her decision at 4.15. We were all sort of growing like this as to what is going to happen. Will he be granted bail or he won't be granted bail? Because uh, it quite visibly uh, we could see that Emma Abutnar, the chief magistrate of Westminster Magistrate Court, who sat through Vijay Malia's hearing and ordered extradition in his case, um, was seemed uh, torn between the arguments. Claire Montgomery QC, who was also Malia's uh, QC, she presented a very strong evidence saying that main argument being that India had said that when Nirav Modi had come here in February, he had traveled back to New York. But there was no evidence to that effect, uh, Claire Montgomery said that. And also to the argument of lack of community ties, she said he does have a he ha has community ties there. His ch children who studied here, did their secondary school, have gone to... Um, uh, New York and will be back and they have gone because their pater and maternal grandfather is not well and they will be back to do the internship. But I think the judge did not buy anything and in the end she said that she's remanding him in custody because of combination of uh, three reasons. First, his interference with the witnesses. Second, destruction of evidence and of course, third, the lack of community ties. So now what happens next is that there's a case management hearing which will be there on the 30th of uh, May.